Welcome to now J Crazy News headlines and a special Wednesday night to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. First on the news, this is the parish of St. Catherine, Spanish town to be exact, where on Monday a man was charged for a murder which took place in 2018. Now charge is Lorenzo Harvey otherwise called Lasha, a tiler of a Spanish town address in Rinzo Road to be exact. Now he has been charged with murder, illegal gun and also illegal possession of ammunition. Now he has been charged with the murder which took place in Duncan Spain in 2018 December to be exact of Jermaine Graham otherwise called Dada or Father. Now, his court date is yet to be finalized by authorities. Now, on December 24, 2018, Graham was found in a vegetated area wrapped in a trampolin. Now, before Graham was found in that area, close to Duncan Spain to be exact, Harvey was on the scene. Now, Harvey, Adam and Graham were in that area where an argument developed. However, Harvey pulled a gun and fired several shots, hitting Graham all over the body. After which, Harvey escaped successfully. However, Graham was found on the scene where he succumbed to injuries. Now, on January 29, Charges was laid on Harvey and he was questioned in the presence of his lawyer. Now, Jeremy Graham was not a saint. As a matter of fact, he was a member of the Klansman gang and in 2018, he was wanted by the St. Catherine North Police for a murder of a couple which took place in Bongo Lane. Now on August 30, 2018, Khalid Wright was in the company of two males in a motor vehicle to be exact. On August 30, I said before, exactly 7.30 p.m. when armed men approached that motor vehicle and fired several shots hitting clouded all over the body now this took place on windsor avenue in spanish town st catherine now on september 1st 2018 to be exact jeffrey wright was at a wake in spanish town when he was approached by armed men jeffrey wright was shot and killed at that week. Now, Jeremy and Graham, a Klansman member, was one of the shooters and he was wanted by the police, after which he turned himself in. Now, after he committed the murder of Jeffrey Wright at a week in Spain Town, he turned himself in on September 27, 2018. Now, as I said before, German Graham, aka Dada, our father, was a member of the Klansman gang, as well as Lorenzo Harvey, aka Lasha, who is now being charged for the murder of Graham. Now, still the parish of St. Catherine, to be exact, Old Harbor where businesswoman and also party promoter along with her partner Kemar Bent and the three teens were remained remanded after they appear in court yesterday. All members were charged with illegal guns, illegal ammo and also guilty of being members of a criminal organization. Now on Tuesday, 
parish court judge who is Kayon Lamy ordered all members to be transferred to the gun court. Now all five members are accused of January 21st incident which took place along Old Harbor Main Road where the police held a roadblock after hearing gunshots in the area. Now Sheena Price was a driver of her Toyota Probox motor vehicle. The police searched that vehicle and they found three illegal handguns and also a huge amount of ammunition. All five were placed in custody after the seizure. Now the picture of Kemar Bent is on the thumbnail. May I say, what a woman, Salty? This woman threw away everything all because she wanted to be in an environment of toxic. Yeah, man. An environment of the toxic behavior. And I am pretty sure there are many more women who are quote-unquote business personnel or female promoters who are involved in criminal activities. Now we head towards Montego Bay, St. James, where a judge made a verdict when it came on to 39-year-old Sophia Quinn, an American dentist who is from Nevada, Las Vegas in America. Now, she has been charged with this orderly conduct and also resisting arrest as well as indecent exposure to the public. Now, this took place on January 23rd at the Donald Sangsters International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James, Jamaica. Now, as I said before, on January 23rd, around 11, 11 a.m., the police were summoned inside the airport where they saw Sophia acting strangely in a very erratic way and was therefore accosted and taken into the custody by the police. Now, on January 29, at court in Montego Bay, St. James, Sophia pleaded guilty to the charges that was laid on her. She was also ordered by the judge to pay the sum amount of 52,000 Jamaican dollars in relation to the charges that were laid on her, which occurred on January 23rd to be exact. The video of Sophia Quinn went viral across the entire social media. I am pretty sure she is embarrassed of what she saw on the viral video. And I'm pretty sure, pretty pretty sure that she feels some type of way. Now we head towards the parish of St. Elizabeth where last year in a video I made mention of what is to come to the parish of St. Elizabeth if the police do not take criminals who are migrating serious. I said that you can expect lot of murders coming out of St. Elizabeth for 2024, this year to be exact. You will see an upward trend in murders and most of these murders will come by the way of robberies. I said it in last year video where I made mention of it, but nobody takes vloggers serious 
until the mayhem start and the police start run up and down like mad ants all reactive and not proactive I also made mention that there are a widespread of criminals who are from Clarendon, Manchester and even St. Catherine who is living in the parish of St. Elizabeth and they are causing major problems and the police need to put a stop to it before it spies out of control but nobody listens and see they know that a murder has taken place during a robbery last week a ice cream vendor was shot and killed at his home after two criminal elements barged into his dwellings so, shortly after midnight on wednesday morning which was early this morning two farmers were attacked by a group of criminal elements in Newcastle district of St. Elizabeth. So, the two brothers drove into the Newcastle district to buy kettles when they were approached by criminal elements and those criminal elements demanded money from now, them. Desmond Wright who is in his 60s who you see on your screen right now hand over the money which was six hundred thousand dollars to the thugs but that was not enough the gangsters opened fire on the two brothers leaving Desmond Wright with gunshot wounds to his chest and also gunshot wounds to the leg of his brother the criminal elements escaped successfully the hospital where they were pronounced dead now Desmond Wright is from Williamsfield district to be exact now to me this looks like a setup yes man a big setup now this is a warning to persons farmers who love to go and buy cows in different communities this is a warning to you a word of caution whenever you're going to buy castle or cows from any individuals please let the police know so the police can accompany you to buy those cows yes man let the police know you're going to buy cows so that they can actually dispatch police officers with you because most times it's a setup do not take these things lightly your life is more important let the police know when you go buy a cow or goat because you have gunmen who pose as castle rearers or farmers who just say they must sell cow or goat but their intention is to rob you and kill you. Crazy again until then for blessed and safe Wednesday night. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity man star move them far flow. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity life star move them far flow. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check